I guess before the before I joined and became a part of the institute of um, mystics, like. I I would say that I was like unfulfilled per se but I think I was like not totally fulfilled I guess mm -mm. like I was so wrapped up in doing other things so wrapped up in work so wrapped up in school so wrapped up in other stuff it's like I think, like, a lot of the reason why, like, um, my sleep schedule is so bad is because I'm very accustomed to my life before the Institute of the Mystics, where it was just constant work. It's like, um... <sighs> I used to, like, <laughs> take naps in my car and stuff like that because I had no time to actually sleep. And so, like, I'd be constantly working, you know? But, like, I guess, like, I'm the kind of person where, like, I, I'm fully aware that I'm lacking in a lot of things when it comes to, like, ability. And so I make up with it for it for working really hard, you know? And so like, I used to work myself to the bone. I'd only get like 30 minutes of sleep at a night. <laughs> I just quickly close my eyes and move on to the next thing. And so like, I just kind of got used to barely <laughs> Having time for leisure. And like... I think also, that's what took me a while to adjust to um, streaming and being a part of... The Luna Institute as well as NGEN. It's like now that... I can play video games, I can... Hang out with people and stuff. It's been very jarring, you know? Because before this, I just didn't have time to... Do anything, you know? When you're balancing what I had to balance, it's just, you know. <clears throat> it's, it's like I felt such pressure to perform because, like, um. I don't know, I, I just knew that I was lacking, you know? And to this day, I still feel like I'm lacking. And, I, you know, I'm not afraid to admit that. Sometimes I'm not the best at things, I have a lot to learn. And that's what I'm here for, so I can grow and learn. And be part of a group that's also going and learning. Um, but at the time, I felt like I had to compensate for my lack of ability by essentially ruining my health to work hard. And that's why, like, I don't know. I, I felt like I had to work really hard to prove that I could do it. And so, <laughs> and so, like, it, a little bit of life advice for you guys. Don't do that. <laughs> Never work yourself the way that I used to. Make sure you sleep. Make sure you eat. Make sure you have time for leisure. Because you're not lazy for wanting to sleep. You're not lazy for wanting to take time to yourself. You're not lazy for wanting to sit back and play video games for a while. It's like, those things are necessary, you know? And because, like, now I kind of suffer the consequences for um, not treating myself properly during that time. Because now, uh, my memory is terrible because of it now. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't sleep, so my memory got really bad. And like, the insomnia is kind of bad and that sort of thing. And so like, I kind of shot myself in the foot a little bit. <laughs> and so no, I do not recommend those things. It's like, It's like, it's okay to want to just, you know... <laughs> it just, it's okay to want to take a break, it's okay to ask for help, it's okay to... 
treat leisure as a necessary thing rather than anything that's not necessary. You know? Because, like, um... I regret it, honestly. I regret it. It's like, I had friends, I had a support system going for me where my friends were telling me, like, Hey, Aya, do you want to slow down a little bit? Do you want to, like, uh, sleep? Do you want to go eat? Do you want to stop working for a little bit? And I was like, no, no, I have to, I have to. I'm so behind on everything. I have nothing else to show my worth, so I have to, uh, I have to work hard, you know? And so, like, I felt like if I stopped working, then I didn't have any worth. And so, um, yeah, in, in reality, if you're not, even if you're not working, if you're just sitting around a little bit, you'll have worth, you know. <laughs> it's okay to not constantly be working. It's okay to not constantly find ways to expedite effort and expedite results at work or in school. It's okay to take time to yourself. And that's why I'm so grateful for my opportunity here at Aluna Institute of the Mystics and with Miji Sanji Ian. Um, because I feel like I no longer, even though I'm trying to continue to improve, I'm trying to continue to work, I don't feel the same insane rush, insane pressure to constantly try to, um, I guess, hustle. <laughs> I guess that's one way you can put it. Um, it's like, if you can see my schedule, I occasionally take days off, isn't that crazy? I used to never take days off. And so like it's it's I think I'm just learning, you know. Of course I still want to improve. I know that I'm lacking in a lot of ways still. But I no longer feel the same innate urge to constantly work, to constantly push myself to like um difficult situations or uncomfortable situations because of it. And so like, you no, know, it's still learning. I'm still putting up with them so you know, relearning how to do these sorts of things. But, um... Yeah, I guess that's a roundaway, very roundabout way of me saying that, like... I think I've come to a place, thanks to Niji Sanji Ian and thanks to the Alun Institute of the Mist... Where I feel more comfortable. I, I feel... Like I'm in a better place. And I'm not... I'm still busy, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but... It's not like... Me speedrunning life. <laughs> It's like, it's now just like me at a moderate pace. And I feel like this is healthy. 